Today's lesson is on multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers using the standard algorithm. So here are our, our learning goals and our learning goal scale. So more specifically, we're going to um, explain multiplication with calculations of one four-digit problems using particularly equations. And we're also going to look at multiplying a whole number up to four digits by a one-digit whole number um, using strategies with place value and operations. So, here are the steps to solving a problem using the standard algorithm. Please make sure you write this down in your notebook. All right, and then here are the steps, so we're going to go over it. So first we're going to write the multiplication problem vertically. We're going to multiply the ones and write the answer in the ones place. So nine times five is 45. 45 has a 10 and a one. So you have to regroup the four into the tens place and write the five. So we just did the ones times the ones. Next, we're going to do the ones times the tens. So we're going to do five times 10, but we're going to add this four because 45, 40 is four tens. So we're going to add four tens. So one times five is five plus four is nine. So our final answer is 95. Let's try another one. We're going to first multiply the ones times the ones. So six times four is 24. We have a 10 here, so we need to regroup. So the two goes in the tens, above the tens place, and the four goes in the ones place. Now we're going to do the ones times the tens. So six times eight is 48, but I need to add this two. So I really have 50. So my final answer is 504. Let's do this next one ones times the one, so seven times nine is 63. I have a 10 here, so I need to make sure I regroup that. And then I drop down the three because it's in the ones place. Next, I do four times nine is 36. But remember, I need to add this six. So 36 plus six is equal to 42. So my final answer is 423. Here are three problems for you to try. Make sure you follow the steps. Thank you so much for your hard work. I will see you tomorrow. Here's your learning goal so you can review it after you've seen this lesson.